a little dot. It can't be a, a the hammer dot. When working on a Leslie uh, cable, one of the more challenging tasks that one has is making sure that the wires uh, in the cable are properly soldered inside of the connectors. Now, um, different uh, technicians use different approaches. But I'm going to share with you the approach that I like to use because I've tried several uh, approaches or a variety of approaches to making sure that I have good solid connection inside of the pins. <coughs> but I like this approach uh, that I'm going to show you. Um, from the numbers, a uh, number of them that I've tried over time. Uh, let's see here. Okay, set that up. Hopefully, this camera won't fall over with me doing this. All right, so here's my wire, and 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 it needs to go into this. Uh, socket area here for this pin so it needs to go into this hole for this pin now so uh, now these have some they've been tinned with some um, solder here on the end so be, let's be aware of that and uh, so that helps that's that's helpful but what I'll do is I'll take some solder and I'll cut uh, another piece uh, about that much and then I'll tin it some more I'll wrap it around the end of the wire and wrap it in fact I'll go ahead and wrap it all the way around trying to show you here so I'll wrap it wrap the solder around that wire because the whole uh, the, the entire the wire is going to go up in that hole and I want good solder connection so now so you see how that's wrapped around there like that and then what I'll do is Push this wire up into the hole like that. There you go. I knew that thing was going to fall over. All right, so here I am. And um, when I put that up in that hole, then what I'm going to do is heat this one up with my soldering iron. Just connect that cable. That's why it keeps falling because I'm pulling the cable over that the phone was connected to. Sorry about that. Uh, let me move it over here. All right, so. Alright, let's see if that works. Now, so I'm dealing with the gray here, and I'm going to go ahead load my fuel extractor. I'm trying to put some pressure on this. So I just want to heat that up. 
and I let it sit for about a 10 second. Going to get an extra five seven. Then let it sit. Let it cool off. Hopefully that was enough. We'll see. Then they definitely go back and check it. I'm going to check it right now. And see if it pulls out, then I need to repeat the process. I'll do it again. If it stays in, we got it. Um, the good thing about the vintage amphenol connectors is that they can hold the heat. The newer connectors made out of some kind of plastic they're not amphenol but they're you know they're brand new they can't these the pins cannot hold that heat like these can and so i've seen the pins actually fall apart and apply heat to them too much heat for too long let's see what happens here now when i try to pull this gray connector out look what happens it stays in look See? So that graving is in there. Now I'm going to go back through, check them all. Yellow, black, brown, blue, gray, yellow. About red, red was the first one I did, and red. All right, so these are all tight now. These are all tightly installed, and so I can put my covers back on. All right, that's it for this video. Dr. Kemp here. The Hammond Dock. Peace out.